Well, this is Katie and her pony Dundee Spirit, or Dude as he's better known. And Katie is a keen competition rider and a very active member of her local pony club branch. And Dude is a very forward going pony. He's very bold, very bold jumper. So today we're gonna do some grid work just to try and help with Katie's control of him and to improve his shape over a fence. He does get very long and flat over a fence sometimes, takes off too far away. So hopefully the grid will improve his technique. And from Katie's point of view, it will give her an opportunity to think about her position and her style over the fence. She won't be having to worry about the distances or where he's gonna take off because they'll already be set up. So if you're ready, Katie, we'll start. Let's just have the trot a tiny bit more forward. Because remember, we've got to be careful with him, Katie, yeah, that we don't confuse relaxation with him being behind your leg. Because he is very forward and he's very fizzy, we often spend a lot of the time thinking, oh, we've got to keep him relaxed, we've got to really settle him down. But we mustn't confuse that where he gets behind the leg. Because remember last time we jumped, he jumped the first fence and when we put the second one up, he stopped, didn't he? And it might have just been that we just didn't have enough power. So we need the power but not so much that it's running away out the front end, but you don't want him behind the leg. So the trot has to be forward and going somewhere, but in control. That's good. Okay, and staying in trot, I want to see this time if you can slow the trot down by just slowing your rising and using your weight, no hand. Just softer rising, softer, slower. And then open the trot up a little bit again. Good. And soften the trot again, soft rising. Lovely, good, that's nice. So the things I want you to think about then, Katie, is like we talked about before, when we, obviously that was just a teeny weeny one just to let him get started. As the jumps get bigger, and especially as we get near the end of the grid, remember we talked about you allowing with your hands, yeah, because we don't want to get fixed at all, because for him to really use himself and be really athletic, he needs to really stretch his head and neck. Let's just trot a circle again, and then we'll do that again. That's lovely, that's a nice rhythm. So let's go off that one then, you can go this time. So again, your job is just to maintain that rhythm. Nice, quiet hands. Your hands just stay nice and still and quiet and just keep the rising, keep the rising, and then there you go. And back to walk as soon as you can and give him a pat. That's great afterwards, Katie, because it's really important for him, the discipline. In fact, that's something you could practice whenever you're jumping, you know, just yourself at home. If you're doing just like a single fence or, you know, when you're not doing a course, the discipline for him after a fence, but right back to woe. So the trot's got to have plenty of purpose, but the hands are nice and still. And remember in the actual jump, I want you to really think about allowing with your hands through the fence, yeah? So look where you're going, look at your line, maintain the rhythm, keep the leg on the same rhythm, keep the rising. Good girl, well done. So say so your, your job is just to ride the straight line, maintain the rhythm, make sure he's going forward enough. Make sure you allow, and then you get him back right after the jump. Good girl, the same rhythm, the same rhythm, and fold, allow, sit up and back, great, lovely, good girl, well done. But if you can keep in your mind how you want to ride it, yeah, you know the rhythm, you know the line, that's it, maintain the rhythm, keep your leg there, Hands are still, allow, allow, allow. Lovely, really nice, Katie, that's super. Make a big fuss of him, that's lovely that is. Good girl, well done. So remember, it's not speed we want, it's contained power. And if you feel he starts to get a little bit antsy and starts to rush and run away, you just slow that rising down, but your hands can all the time be just really still and nice. So remember, that'll encourage him to jump. If your hands are still, and quiet, that's going to encourage him to want to jump because it's going to feel nice. So no faster, that's fine. Just maintain that rhythm, no faster. Keep hold of him, good girl. Allow, 
allow, allow. Good girl, well done. And back to well, make a big fuss of him. So, <laughs> riding past A, but he's not jumping, he's just circling away. So he might think he's jumping now, but he's not. He's just circling away. So slow your rising down. Just, and you can use your voice as well, Katie, you know, just really talk to him. That's it. Do a couple of transitions. Do that a couple of times. Ride him up into the corner and circle away again. That's it. So again, it's just about making him wait for you, realising he doesn't have to go at 90 miles an hour. And when you feel he's starting to relax, we can go for it, OK? So we're going to try and just keep that trot to the placing pole. Try and not let him break into canter. So remember, we're not going to yank or pull. We're just going to keep the hands still. You can give little half halts, just very quietly, and just slow your rising. Keep your upper body upright. Good. Fold, fold, fold. Super duper. Lovely. Good girl. Well done. So again, make sure he's with you. Power, but contained. Ride into that placing pole. Just look at that pole, that cross pole. It's all you need to do. Lovely. Allow, allow, allow. Gorgeous, Katie. That's super duper. Make a great big fuss of him. That's really, really nice.